Hey everybody, it's Mike from Order Flows, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the Delta Scalper, you know, and what it does and, and how to use it effectively. Because, you know, the Delta Scalper is a tool that I released uh, several years ago, actually. It was one of the first additional order flow analysis tools after the Order Flows Trader Footprint chart that we released um, that analyzes specifically the Delta. And I'll be talking about how it performed today in the micro E-minis, you know, the MES, gold futures, and euro currency futures. Now, again, you know, I released this tool uh, several years ago, and, you know, other gurus, other vendors have tried copying it and but they don't really understand it and it, it, that's a problem because you know if you're trying to buy something right you should buy the original now I'm not going to get into what Delta is because I've gotten done many many videos on that and I've explained that ad nauseum so hopefully you could understand by now what order flow Delta analysis is and many traders actually still struggle to grasp the importance of Delta analysis right they have difficulty understanding that Sometimes there's a very strong hand in the market, you know, because after all, right, we're taught that for every buyer, there's a seller, right, and vice versa, right? Trading is a zero-sum game. You can't uh, sell unless you're selling it to a buyer, and you can't buy unless there's a seller. So what Delta Scalper does is it alerts you who is in control of the market. And how does it do that is it looks at the relationship between the di different Delta numbers as they come in and analyze them. So it's doing this in real time. So it's giving you, generating for you, buy or sell signals in real time as they occur, which allows you to get in at the earliest possible time. So what Delta Scalper does is it alerts you to areas in the market where buyers are drying up and sellers are getting stronger. You know, that would be a sign of a down move. And also where sellers are getting less and buyers are starting to dominate. That would kick off a nice up move. So let's take a look at the charts, okay? just so you can see it in action. So I'll start off with the, uh, what do I start off with, the MES. Okay, not that chart, sorry. Um, so I'll start off in the MES, here we go. All right, so the default settings, okay. I'll, I'll just take it off the default settings first. It's seven, one, and one, right? What you're gonna be looking at is the look back bars, the negative delta strength and the positive delta strength, okay? And so this is when you first load the indicator, this is the setting, seven, one, and one, okay? You don't really have to worry about the uh, signal box height data because that's more on, on how it's displayed on the chart. So just go back to today. Today is April 13th. Okay, so you can see with the default settings here, let me just scrunch this chart up. You're, let me get the crosshairs on here. So you're seeing some cells in the morning, right, as the market sells off then the buys as the market starts to rally up um, sell as it starts to come off now that's with the default settings now there's a look back feature meaning you know it's going to be looking for swing highs and swing lows that's what this is here the look back bars seven now you could actually uh, turn that off which would be to disable it which would be zero okay now I'm going to keep it at the base strength of one and one I mean, you're not going to set a negative delta strength of zero and zero and a positive of zero because there's no point you you're not analyzing anything. The basically the the three levels that you'd want to keep it at is one, two, and three. I don't go above two. Actually, I just use one and two. Okay, one is the base level that um, will work on pretty much every market. You know, if you want a little bit stronger, you jump up to two. So I'm turning off the look back bars. Okay, so it's basically going to try to alert me. Um, you know, anytime there's an instance of the Delta Scalper uh, signal. So let's just uh, turn it on here at zero look back bars, and you can see it says up here calculating. Okay, in the top. So again, you know, depending on how much data that you have loading you know, is going to be how fast it is, right? I think on this chart, I've got about two weeks of data. But you see it's still pretty quick. So now you're seeing a lot more signals, okay? Now, again, you don't have to use, that's it with the look back turned off. You could actually set it to a lower level, or right? seven is, is quite strong for, you know, swing highs or swing lows. You know, you could set it to one. And let's see, you know, it's going to give you less signals than when it's at zero but it's going to give you more signals than when it's set at um, at seven. Okay, turn it off. You can see up here it says calculating up at the top. All right, so 
<coughs> now you can see there's a bit more signals. It's a little bit more um, active than having a look back of seven. And there's less signals than if you have it um, set to uh, zero. So what about if you want to make it a bit stronger? Okay, so you could change it to two and two. Now, the way it's calculating it, um, you know, actually each level that you go up from one to two is doubling the strength. So if you go from two to three, you're doubling it from, you're not just going up incrementally, right? So from one to, you know, imagine it's, you know, one to two, and then two essentially would be, you know, you're doubling the two and it's becoming four instead of three in that sense. So it, each level it doubles. So if you were to go to, you know, four, it'd be like 16 times the strength. So set it at two. Again, I'll keep the look back at, at one. Now, when I go higher in delta strength, I tend to decrease the look back bars or even turn them off. So let's take a look on um, look back set to one with a stronger delta strength of two and two, right? You need positive and negative delta strength. Um, I tend to, I keep them the same. I, I don't vary, you know, I don't keep one at one, like negative at one, positive at two. Uh, you should keep them the same. So here, right, you could see there's less signals, right? You still got the look back of one. Now, if I was going to have it at look back of seven, there'd be very few signals. I, I wouldn't use a delta strength of two with um, a look back of seven. But let's take a look on how it's going to look with the look back bars set to zero, meaning it's just signaling any time the conditions are met. Okay, so let's give it a second to come up here. Now, one recommendation, you know, a best practice is if you're using the indicator, use the tabs, you know, and you could keep the different charts open that you want to have rather than keep flipping through um, the charts. Or sorry, rather than keep going and, and changing it and pulling up a new chart and then changing it again and change, you know, just, you know, you start out your, your day with a, a different, you know, with your different markets that you're looking at with the Delta scalper loaded on there. All right, so here it is on the way down, you know, on the way up. Okay, so there's some decent signals there. Now, let's take a look at uh, gold futures. Okay. So, I'll keep it at the same settings of two for positive and two for negative. And the look back, you know, we'll keep it at zero for now. So, let's just scrunch this up a bit here. You know, gold had this some interesting movement this morning starting, you know, during the, the European session and U.S. session pretty much sideways. But um, anyway, let's just go here. Okay, so you can see the, the strength is set to two, right, with look back of zero. Now, if I have, let's just step it down to strength of one. I'll keep the look back at zero. Okay, uh, if I should close this or keep it up. So you're seeing a lot more signals. Okay, now, obviously, if you set the look back to, I don't know, we'll set it to seven, right? The default, seven, one, and one. Okay, so you're seeing the buys here, sell here, sell, you know, a little sell here, a little sell here. You know, small moves as this market's going sideways, but you're catching, you know, hopefully you're catching that big move. Um, try it with the setting of uh, look back of one. And really what you want to do, right, for your market, you know, for me, I, I, I have the markets that I follow. I have settings that I uh, prefer for those markets, and I stick to them. I don't keep changing them intraday. All right, so this is 1, 1, and 1. This is, and the settings I'm talking about, 1, 1, and 1, um, 0, 2, and 2, these are the settings that I use. Okay, and, and there's a reason for that, um, which is sort of explained in the user manual on on what the Delta Scalper is about, okay? So you can see some nice uh, moves up and down there, okay? Um, let's take a look at uh, Euro currency. 6E, Euro FX. And again, I'll just take you through the settings. Same settings, um, you know, since we're talking about it. So this one is one, one, and one. So it's a look back of one, right? 
negative delta strength of one, positive delta strength of one. Okay, so you can see there's some, yeah, it did manage to catch this nice move from, you know, what is that, 65 all the way up you know, above 109, right? And some small moves there. Now, if you are using the default settings, right, 7, 1, and 1, this is what it would look like. Okay, so you see 7, 1, and 1, the settings up here at the top. Again, still catching that major move up there catching some down moves here but you are getting stopped out but again these are small stops right you're getting short at uh, 108 60 and a half you know you're stopped out at 63 okay fine you know you could take those small losses now let's uh, make it a bit stronger okay now I'm gonna set the look back to zero but I'm gonna make the strength uh, two. Zero, two, and two okay so at the Negative delta strength, the positive delta strength are basically doubled. And again, you know, it's catching some of these nice, this nice move down, this nice move up, this nice move up, this move down, this little move down. So again, you know, you can, I don't say play around with the settings, but you know, you should find the settings that you're going to be most comfortable with using if you want it stronger um, with fewer signals or if you want it. Um, I don't say weaker, but you know, you, you want to see more signals. You want to be more active in your trading. Uh, you might want to set it at uh, uh, a you know, the base level of one and one. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And you know, again, you know, if you're interested in a Delta Scalper right now, we do have a special going on. Just go to deltascalper.com and you know, take advantage of the special that's going on right now because it's just it's just going to last for a few days. So thanks, and I'll see you guys on the inside. Bye bye.